Hey guys, before we get started today, I just want to say that a couple of people have been having issues with the sub box recently, with sub videos not showing up inside it. So, if you want to stay on the cutting edge of all of our newest, greatest, sexiest, spiciest videos, please click the bell and you'll get some of them awesome notifications. They'll brighten up your day. Let's get started and hop into how we can fix Friday the 13th, the game. So if you're anything like me, you might absolutely love the Friday the 13th franchise. Now, it certainly had its ups and downs, ups being things like Part 4 and Jason Lives, downs being things like uh, A New Beginning and J Jason X. <coughs> but when they announced a video game, people were excited. You've got one of the most iconic horror villains of the 80s, coming back in 2017 for some fresh, funky, groovy gameplay in a survival horror multiplayer game, which has promised a lot more content to come in the future. So, that's exciting stuff, isn't it? Still wish, uh, still wish I had known about the Kickstarter earlier and I could have gotten that Savini Jason, but uh, I digress. Anyway. So what do I mean by how to fix Friday the 13th? I mean, if I love the game so much already, if I enjoy it, if I've spent hours and hours playing it, what is there to fix? Now that's a good question. In the past I've received comments uh, that insinuate that you can't complain about something that you like, or that you probably shouldn't bring up the negatives of something that you enjoy. And honestly, I think that's dumb and this is my channel. And I think that uh, I, I think that criticizing something for its own benefit is actually a good thing. Now, if you just give every single product a pass, you just get something, you're like, yeah, whatever, A+, plus, I don't care. Things don't improve, they don't get better. And so I think that it is worth looking at this game and seeing what could be better, what can be improved. And I think that the devs are doing that just because of some of the things that they've said are coming in recent updates. So what's one massive problem with the game right now? One of the biggest problems that we're facing. First off, it's team killing. This has been happening a ton, so much so that the devs recently had to address it on their Reddit page. They had to say that the next announcement is going to be getting rid of friendly fire because people are just abusing it. So to summarize their spicy little hot quote, Basically what they've said here, and I'll show it on the screen, is that in the next patch, public games will no longer allow counselor team killing through weapons use against other counselor players. The shotgun, machete, and assorted weapons will no longer have any effect on friendly players. Now the reason for this is because there have been a lot of issues that they've heard from the community because of rampant team killing that's been abused by players on every platform, PC, PS4, Xbox One, whatever, it's been abused. I've encountered it a lot on PS4, and frankly, it ruins a lot of matches. It's basically turned Friday the 13th into something more akin to uh, PUBG or DayZ than Friday the 13th. And you might think, oh, well, that's, that could still be fun, but the problem is it's not at all supposed to be part of the game. Team killing was left in to cause tenseness. For A good example of this is I was playing with my friend Luke. He got grabbed by Jason. And he said, quick, shoot him, shoot him. I had the shotgun. I fire. I accidentally hit him and killed him. That's kind of what team killing's there for. It's not there to be abused. It's not there to be like, oh, hey, I have the shotgun. Maybe I should go hunt down every player on the map. Or, hey, everybody, let's get a group of f four different people, all play as Bugsy with machetes, and we'll just hunt down the other players and ignore Jason. And that's the kind of crap people have been doing that's been really ruining a lot of matches and causing it not to be fun. It's trolling, it's griefing, it's not part of the game. It really had no place in there. Now it's going to remain in private lobbies, from what I can tell, because that's really, um, that, that's really like house rules, that's people making their own rules to play with their friends, so they're like, whatever, that can stay. Uh, in public matches, cars can still kill you and traps can still hurt you or kill you, but, you know, we might see some issues with this. I've never actually encountered people placing traps to kill other counselors. I know it happens, but in my probably 20 hours, 30 hours playing the game, haven't encountered that. It happens, but it's, uh, 
you know, it's too, it's really too bad that, that it came down to this. They say the same. Uh, even in the TLDR, they say that the community can't have nice things because people abuse them. And and it's a problem though too because we've also run into people who will hold on to the car parts like gas or battery or phone fuse and now there's no way to get them from those people because we can't kill them uh, to take them and what I mean is like somebody playing with their friend who's Jason they find the car battery or, or worse they find the phone fuse since there's only one of them and they just hold on to it the whole match or escape the match on purpose with it so everybody's screwed over that's gonna happen now and there's not gonna be a way to fight that because everybody abused the team killing thing so, this is a problem that is being fixed in the next update, but it's also going to introduce a new one, the fact that you can now not actually stop someone from running around keeping parts that you need to get out of the map. I'm not actually sure what you can do about this. I think one idea would be if somebody escapes with, say, the fuse or a car part in their inventory, that that part respawns in a cabin. It wouldn't be a great solution, but at least that resource would be back on the map that someone could use. Because it's kind of garbage that there are players that will work with Jason and they will take parts and hold on to them or escape with them just so that you're screwed over. And that's another thing that we want to look at is players playing with Jason and helping him. Now, there are harmful versions of this and there are less harmful versions of it. I think either way it's not a good precedent to set, it's not something that should be really promoted, but it's something that's going to happen a lot. And it has been happening a lot. Now, the harmful version of this is when players are playing with Jason, they say, oh everybody's in the main house, or oh, check your map, everybody's at the phone. They're, they're in a party with Jason, they're just telling him. That's harmful because it allows Jason to hunt people down in a very targeted and meticulous way that he was not meant to be able to. The player who plays as Jason is supposed to have to use the resources at their disposal, such as sense, his ability to sense sight, or, uh, I'm sorry, sound, uh, that is coming off in the distance, his ability to tell occupied cabins from others, etc. It's a mechanic. It's not meant to... Jason's not meant to be all-knowing, and he's not all-knowing in the movies, He's not all-knowing in any medium uh, that I've ever seen. So it's not something that people could be like, well, it's like in the movies. It's not at all like in the movies. Jason is not stupid, but he's certainly not the brightest uh, not the brightest ever. I mean, this, we're talking about the guy who died to Tommy Jarvis as he watched him hold the chain with the rock on it and just kept coming after him and allowed himself to just be tied down to the bottom of a lake. This guy's not a genius. He's smart, but but he's basically an undead black magic zombie guy. You know, he's not meant to be a god. So there's a lot of problems with that going on. There have been solutions offered. One would be disabling party chat, so you couldn't be in a PlayStation party itself and then be playing or a uh, or an Xbox party itself. Issues with this would be that it'll still happen. Players can communicate on Skype and Discord. So how to fix this? It's a little trickier. I think the most obvious step would be to disable parties. Um, not the parties to play with your friends, but the parties, those public parties, because it forces people to go to a third party application to do this. And they'll still do it, but I think it'll eliminate enough of it that it would have an impact. This is one, though, that I wasn't entirely sure how to fix on my own. This is something that I would definitely be open to hearing community feedback for. Obviously, I'm not the one changing and making changes in this game, but the game's official Reddit has been listening to player feedback, so I do think it's worth talking about because things like this can really affect the game. Oh, and I forgot to mention the unharmful version of this. It's still not a good precedent to set, but it's much less annoying. The much less annoying version of working with Jason is when, let's say two friends are playing together, one says, hey, don't kill me first, and the other says, okay, I'll go after someone else and I'll come back to you. Now, this is still not a great precedent because you are communicating with Jason, you're talking to the monster, you're telling him, please don't hurt me, and he's like, yeah, whatever, dude, I won't. It doesn't really make sense uh, in universe uh, at all if we're looking at it from that way. 
And from another way, it's also giving one player immunity to the monster. The only reason this is less harmful is because you're not specifically telling Jason who to attack or where people are. I think that this is still not a precedent that should be encouraged. I think it's at the very least excusable right now because everybody is cheating with Jason. Like, people are just telling him where you are. So if you're doing this, I would say this is much more excusable than the alternative of working with Jason and just telling him who to hunt down and where they are. Because that is absolutely ridiculous and, and annoying and it ruins the game. So another issue that could fix a lot of these problems is a report button. As of right now, we don't have one. Now, it won't completely eliminate the issue, but at least if you had a report button you could say, hey guys, so and so has been working with Jason. Hey guys, these people are attempting to team kill with the car in multiple games. I've been in a lobby with them. You know, it's not an accident. This is happening. Repetitive behavior. And they can go look and say like, oh wow, he betrayed like 10 players in the last three matches. Yeah, he's a team killer. Uh, even with the car, you know, that's still team killing. So I think that a report button would definitely help with these issues. The only reason I didn't mention it for the working with Jason is because it won't fix it. It'll just make it easier to point out who's doing it so that those accounts might have something, you know, happen to them after so many reports. With any report feature, it could be abused. So I think that the developers would have to develop a way where they can see, and maybe they can, maybe they can see the statistics like he has, you know, 30 kills and uh, he has like 10 betrayals in the last two matches. If they can see that, there's no reason to develop it. If they don't have that, I think that needs to be developed. I think uh, your character actions need to be stored on some kind of leaderboard server so that people can see that. Because if you're rampantly team killing, it should say, hey, he's killed 100 players and he's only played 10 hours. What the hell's going on? You know, like, no, you know, they'd be a bigger uh, murderer than Jason. But I, I think that that would really help. Leaderboard tracking and report functions. Another massive issue has been hosts leaving, with no penalty to them, but it ruins matches for the rest of us. So a host is playing, and if you know how host, how hosting works, it's running through their connection, so they kind of have, um, how would I put it? They are basically not in control of the game, but since it's running through them, if they just bail, their internet goes out, or they leave, the game ends. That's how it's set up right now. In something like Call of Duty that's been around for a while, they figured this out like, oh, we need to have host migration, where if the host leaves, everything freezes for 10, 15 seconds, the game picks the next best stable host, uh, like the best next connection to move it to, they do that, game has a countdown, 10 seconds in, continues. Host migration. That's what we need. We need, 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 need host migration. Because Hosts will die in-game, and they'll be like, you know what, I don't want to wait 10 minutes, and I don't care who it affects. I don't care if it ruins the game for everyone, I don't care if the match ends, I'm gone. And bingo, match is over. What it comes down to is these people cannot be trusted when there is no ability to report, and there are no consequences. Whenever you put tons of people in situations where there's no consequences for their actions, not everyone, but a lot of people behave badly. They behave poorly. That's why we have things in the real world like laws, and authorities, and jail. And games need forms of these things. Laws being rules. Authority being the developers. The ability to report them, you know, the report button. It's like calling the police and saying, hey, my, my neighbor is trying to murder me. Now, in the real world, if there was no one you could tell and your neighbor could just kick in your door and shoot you in the face, and there was no police to call, we would have problems. That is called anarchy. Now the game is currently running like the Wild West, it is anarchy. There's no real way to report anybody for anything. On PC you can take screenshots and send in emails. On PS4 and Xbox One you don't even have that option. And honestly that's a garbage option. If that's your only way to report there's no button, that's terrible. And right now it's there's nothing that can be done about it. The other thing that needs to be done is the removal of all of the bugs and glitches. Now. These can't all be done at once, I understand that, but at a certain point you have to wonder why they haven't been removed already. The ability for players to find certain spots like buoys and islands they can get onto where 
they become invincible and they can't be touched by Jason. The fact that that's still in the game right now is insane. And they haven't even mentioned taking these things out yet. Now, this needs to be done for this game to be taken seriously. It's, it's absolutely insane that you have to watch specific areas for people just not to get up and exploit them when you're playing as Jason. Otherwise, you might be sitting for 15 minutes with everybody dead except one guy who managed to glitch his way onto a spot of an island Jason can't get to. It's mind-boggling, and it makes me actually really annoyed because I've had matches where I've just sat and watched as someone just sits up on a thing and Jason can't even touch them. I've had matches where I was that Jason. I've had matches where I was dead and I had to just sit and watch for 10, 15 minutes just to get my match completion XP because some moron decided, hey, I think I should glitch the game now and waste everyone's time, even though I barely get any XP bonus for staying alive without escaping. That's a good idea, isn't it? It is, it's absolutely mind boggling the stupidity of the community in this game sometimes. People will exploit these things and just waste everyone's time for no reason. J at that point, just die. You might as well just be dead in the game. You don't get much more out of surviving if you don't actually make it out. Just knock it off <laughs> and take these things out of the game. Like, I can only blame the community so much in this case because it's like the developers are not actually taking this out yet. These things need to be gone. You also have the fact that, like, look at what happened to me when I was Jason and somebody dropped firecrackers as I was grabbing them. Like, game bugs like this, they're funny. Bugs like this are funny, and they're funny when you encounter them the first time. It was actually hilarious. When you encounter them more than once, it starts to ruin the game. And there's ways to bug Jason so that this kind of stuff happens. There's also an instant kill glitch on Jason right now, where you don't even need to go through all the steps to kill him. You can just take him out. I've also had matches where I, where I actually teleported as Jason, and I fell straight through the bottom of the map. And died. And it was just it. That was it. The end. And it didn't even give anyone the Kill Jason trophy. It just spawned me outside of the map and just ended the match. It's just mind-boggling that this, 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 this stuff hasn't been changed yet. It's crazy. And these things need to be removed. They need to be addressed. Now don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Friday the 13th the game. I have a lot of fun on it. I play with my friends. We have a great time. We're not a bunch of cheaters. We have a good time, and sometimes we play private matches, sometimes we play public matches, but I'm tired of the team killing, I'm tired of the griefing, I'm tired of the trolling, the cheating, the exploits, the bugs that overrun this game. Th these things are crazy and they just need to be changed. Another thing that'll help is variety of content. If we could have more skins of Jason, that would be awesome, you know, those, uh, those would be really cool because We've just gotten the retro Jason, which is sick, but you know, we need some more if we could have some more new maps Obviously that would increase the variety of the game that would give people more content more to do So those things would be nice. I think more cosmetics for the camp counselors would be great I know that they're adding in emotes. That's a good thing. That's gonna only help the game and I think that uh, I think overall the game it's it's on a good path you know, we're waiting for the single-player DLC still that's okay though as long as it comes out and it's good i don't mind the wait all of these things are just improvements that could help make friday the 13th a better game because obviously we can't trust the community to just not exploit things on their own because as we've proven people when they are unmonitored are not great they're not they're not the best they, they do bad things so i really think that these improvements need to be made so that the game can get better and just continue to be a lot of fun because as is, a good portion of the community is very frustrated with a lot of the things going on. And games, multiplayer games especially, they need to keep the community happy. When you lose the community, you lose the game. That's how multiplayer games work. So, I think these things need to be changed so that the community can be happy. And we can have a fun, balanced game that we can all continue to enjoy. Anyway guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. I put a lot of time and effort into this video, into coming up with things that can be changed, coming up with solutions. I know not all of them are perfect, but I would definitely like to know some things you would like changed from the game, or maybe some solutions to problems I, you know, brought up in this video. Definitely interested in your guys' thoughts here, because, uh, you know, in any community-based game, 
one community member's uh, voice should not carry all the weight. It should be everybody. But anyway, guys, we love you. Thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.